Oh, thanks very much. We're going to stay with technology as promised. Graycroft Partners' Alan Patrickoff back with me along with the founder of one of the startups that he funded. It is called When I Work. It's a mobile-focused software company scheduling interaction between employees and employer made easier. Chad Halverson right here beside Alan and myself. So, Chad, welcome. Thank you. Uh, why do you have a pencil? I just have to ask. Very old school, but do you write yeah. a lot? It's like the antithesis of what we do in tech, and it just kind of stuck. I always am like scratching things down. Okay. So it's just kind of this thing that. So communication yeah. in its first stages, and now yeah. it's, it's evolved. It's how scheduling was done before. Years ago. We, the way we do it now. So what you're doing now is essentially saving employers and employees time, and as we've known for a long time, time actually does equal money. Yeah. So small businesses and businesses that have hourly employees, they spend an insane amount of time scheduling and communicating with employees and it's one of the most daunting tasks that they have to, to deal with and we've uh, we've kind of cracked the code in terms of software and communication to make it really really easy uh, for these uh, business owners and these managers of small businesses to communicate. So if I work in a small business and my manager has your software I call in sick it doesn't take that person you know two hours to solve that problem it takes them three minutes. Ten seconds so they, they'll okay. pull up their phone they'll see who's available who's not working find a replacement it shoots out text message to everybody email social cues things like that. Alan, you get more than 50 pitches a week, I'm sure, maybe even higher than that number. What made you invest in Chad's company? Well, in Chad's case, it really was an easy one. I mean, they're growing 20 to 30 percent a month. Uh, they have a business that the most impressive thing was they don't do any outbound selling. They have no salesman on the road. They don't have anyone calling. So this is all word it's of mouth? All, all inbound. All yeah, in. It's all inbound, word of mouth, and uh, people discovering us and then us solving that problem. So do you ever, have you come across a situation where, you, I mean, I know you have something like 5,000 businesses signed up. How big is your staff? So right now it's about 30 people. Uh, seven months ago it was about seven people. So Okay, going well fast. that tells its own tale. But are you in this position where if you start growing faster you either have to hurry up and hire more people or turn business away? Um, it, I hope it will never turn. I know, yeah. Alan's like, Deirdre, please, Not don't necessity. start. But, but optimizing all the different areas, you know, the, the customer success, the marketing, and the products so that we can uh, bring people on in, in larger quantities faster. Alan, how does this fit in? I, we mentioned media, internet. I mean, this is obviously heavy internet, heavy tech. But how does this fit in to what you're doing right now at Graycroft? Well, it's a mobile company, mobile-based company. It's it makes money. Month, monthly recurring revenues, uh, uh, and you know, it's a so, so, software. Based. I mean, it's uh, it fits perfectly, and while well, it's not a, a news company or a company that in our in our mind we think of as media, it's internet based and it's mobile based, and it's it fits well. Some perfectly. of your clients. I mean, you have Atlanta Braves, you have Uber, you have the Columbus Zoo. I mean, you have a pretty wide swath of industries that you're working with. Right. Yeah. So it's uh, it's businesses that have hourly employees that are that are finding value in it, and it doesn't whether it's restaurants, retail, entertainment. Uh, if there's employees being scheduled, it's a big problem. And as we know, we've talked about this, Alan, big picture. I mean, Larry Summers even wrote about this yesterday in the journal about this work problem, essentially, that, that the U.S. has. But more and more workers seem to be going to temporary work or freelance work or part-time work. So you're answering, in, in that case, that macro trend. Anyone who has seasonal workers or has part-time workers or hourly workers needs when I work software. It's so easy to operate. I was, when the first time I saw it, uh, he said, go and do it. And I, I don't have part-time workers, but I registered everybody and everybody was notified and it was done in a matter of seconds. Plus it gives you an excuse to go to Minnesota. You said Minneapolis, St. Paul is now your favorite city. Is yeah. that because of Chad? So it was 24 below zero when I went there during the winter. That is what I we call wait. conviction, all in capital letters. Thank you both for joining us. So happy you're here. Chad Halverson, he is the founder of When I Work. Alan Padrikoff, of course, the founder of Graycroft Partners. We